All right, so there's a fairly new application. It uh, came out the 24th for those of you who play guitar or bass or whatever. Um, it's basically been on a, a iOS for a while, but because of issues with Android's uh, latency, uh, a kind of bare-bones version of it uh, recently hit the uh, Play Store. Uh, you do need a interface, which costs more than it does on iOS because it has built-in hardware to get around uh, latency issues with audio. So, yeah, that's why Android really never had an app like this before, because they have too much latency with audio. So when you try to strum a chord, your chord will say play a half a second later, and trying to play like that is annoying. And really, there, there have been apps, bare minimum crappy little apps uh, for this. They're amp simulators. Um, and they all basically suck, and honestly, there's no reason to use them because trying to play and then you strum a chord and then like a half second later you hear it is not really something that most people would want to deal with. But an app for all devices, there was one for Samsung, specific Samsung devices, uh, but this one's for all Android devices. Um... Now, the interface does cost $99, so I do not have it. I just want to show it in demo, the app in demo mode. Um, so I'll, demo some of, I'll show some of the demos of the different sounds and things. It's not the world's best app in the world, but probably just the best app on Android so far. And I'm sure it'll get better, but uh, let me just actually find the application and that's Amplitube UA and I'm going to leave a link in the description. Right now there is no tablet uh, UI available for this application. It says order iRig UA, I don't have it, and it says run in demo mode so you can try it out and check out the sound and stuff. I'm going to just show you around the app a little. So as you see here it's similar looking to the iOS version of the application except for it's missing a lot of things from that <laughs> um, it's got very little to it right now um, so because I'm on a phone it has everything kind of you know you want your you got your amplifier and you want to get all, to all your controls you have to slide over slide the knobs over so you can turn the amp on or off uh, <laughs> So, yeah, there's the usual volume controls. They have different um, presets here, and they have a few, um, few amps that you can buy as in-app purchases, kind of like the, the PC version and stuff like that. So you get the, the app is free, you download it, and then they offer like different amps and, and stomp boxes and things like that. Uh, there's not a hell of a lot here, though. Uh, there's a decent amount of amps to start with, but the stomp boxes are kind of uh, limited. There's two, only two mics. Um, uh, there's a few different uh, cabinets here, so you can try different cabinets. Tap on the cabinets, they change. There's no way to go, like, back to the last cabinet or forward to the next cabinet or something like that. It's just always the next cabinet. So every time you tap on it, it goes to the next cabinet. So there's that. Yep, up in this area where I just moved that amplifier, you can move the amplifier in the chain here like that. And so up there where you see... Um, that area there you can tap where you want um, so up here we have these little uh, you know pedals here uh, you come it comes I guess with a few free ones um, and then these are the, the ones that are grayed out are the ones you have to buy uh, so you can put throw in an overdrive pedal turn it on turn it off blah, blah, blah. and I did that in the exact opposite way that I said it Throw their drive up, you know, level, tone, you can change the tone. The only thing is, like, this specific 
overdrive. If you wanted to have a wah pedal with the overdrive, you can't. You select wah, and then it goes to wah. And if you want it, you can't put it on another, um, another, you know, slot in the chain because it's not there. So you have chorus and flanger and phaser, but you can't actually use overdrive with distortion. I mean, with, oh, sorry, overdrive with wah. So you can uh, depress the pedal thing and all that. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so you can also empty it out, have nothing. So I can go back here and overdrive. We have that. Uh, we go to the thing. I play metal, so I hit a the metal thing and um, select that cabinet. It doesn't really tell you which cabinet you're selecting or anything. They're just giving you a visual idea of what it's uh, emulating, I guess. And I don't like to use the condenser mic. I go. You can add. Let's see, we can add, uh, let's add a flan uh, flanger and uh, turn it off. You, I could add that like that and uh, just turn it off and turn it on when I want. Or you can also, in the full, uh, full application, you have presets. And you can make your own presets, which you can change, which look like tiles. And uh, you basically press uh, which preset you want that you have saved. Uh, throw in delay. I don't know. Um, there's also this is the of course the the uh, demo application. Um, so what was I saying? I forgot. Whatever. But there is also on top of that there's a store. There's things like that. Like you have in the PC version, you have a store where you go and you purchase uh, different effects. This doesn't have a lot in it. Um, so we have, you know, he has a few amps here that are cool. They got the orange amps. Those are really good. They got Marshall, Fender, stuff like that. They have the metal amp down here, metal W. Uh, yeah. So they have that. The only thing is you can't actually, as far as I'm aware, by the way, they're not all free. It's weird. It's like a bug on my phone. On my tablet, it actually works fine. It shows all the prices, but this shows like they're all free. I wish they were. <laughs> but um, what was I saying? Oh, you can't. As far as I'm aware, you can't demo it. I it won't let me try, so I have to order the iRig to try to demo it. Um, and, I mean, well, to try to purchase it. I don't know that you can demo it, so. <sighs> be nice if you could actually demo the amps and everything before you purchase them um or even before you even purchase the frigging uh interface 99 dollars you should be able to try out or at least hear some demos of what the amps sound like so if you know you you know you want to make a purchase i'm trying to fucking speak so you can see if you want to purchase this interface um so, you know, that's that. Oh, I already went to amps. So the stomp boxes, uh, stomp effects, there's not a hell of a lot here. Um, there are a few ones that I do want, like compressor, limiter. Uh, I don't know about the reverb. Uh, EQ, not really. Um, I don't really use EQs much. Uh, normally I'm okay with what's on the... the, the uh, Jesus, the amp or something. I'm normally okay able to get a decent enough sound without needing an extra EQ. But it's there if you want it, if you really need it. Um, oh, two EQs. More EQing. So, you got that. And then there's bundles. I don't understand the bundles because, well... Of course, it's not showing me the prices, but in the application, the all-in-one bundle, uh, the all-in bundle, is, I think, what is it, $70 or something? And all these bundles together do not add up to $70. So that's 
kind of weird. I would think the all-in-one bundle thing would actually be cheaper than buying everything separately, but it's not. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever. You go to the settings, there's only one setting, and that's the input volume. If I touch it on my Galaxy S4, it crashes. Um, then you have your account. You can log in to your account. I have one on PC. No, I made one on PC. for the, I have the PC application. Um, and this is not as full-featured as the iOS version. The iOS version is a lot better. It has a built-in recording. It has, like, drums, still drum loops. You can really just record an entire demo in the iOS version that's basically good enough to actually submit to a record company. Um, but with this one, it's um, it doesn't record anything. You don't have any drum loops. You have only a few effects, a couple lamps. Everything sounds good. I'm gonna play some of the um, I'm gonna play some of the demos and, and let you hear them so that uh, you know so you can check it out. So I'm gonna shut up for a second because uh, you won't be able to hear me if I even talk. So there you go. Thank you. 
Alright, so that's just some of the stuff in the demos. I really couldn't, I can't actually hear anything that I'm doing here, so when I'm demoing the shit to you, um, the way I'm recording, I have a root access and I'm using internal audio with a microphone using a, a program called Screen Stream Mirroring, and uh, I don't have a mic, like an external mic. I'm actually using the mic in my phone, and... Uh, you know the internal audio and the the audio gets muted on my phone when it records internal audio so I was doing my best to try to show you some different sounds but I can't actually hear them <laughs> so yeah <laughs> now uh, what else uh, so I mean the, the app is fairly you know new it's not the uh, it doesn't have too much just yet, um, but, it, you know, it's got some stuff, um, and it's definitely a nice thing to have on Android because we haven't had really had anything real like that um, for the entire time Android has been around, um, except for some apps that tell you uh, we have delay, deal with it, because there's nothing they can do about it. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. So, I'm excited for this app. I do think they could have done a better job, at, le at even as a launch application. Um, I think they could have at least uh, took some time and threw in, thrown in, like, a tablet UI, a few more stomp boxes, maybe a few more, a few more features. I think they really rushed the application out, and I really wish they would have taken a little more of their time, especially if they're trying to sell you a $99 interface. And, um, yeah, if they really want their app to be well-known, it would be nice if they did kind of more like a smash hit on their first, uh, their, uh, their debut of the, the application, uh, instead of making an app that has, uh, that's just very bare bones and, doesn't have a hell of a lot. I mean, most a lot of people would probably feel like they got ripped off if they went out and bought this um, this interface for ninety nine bucks and download the app, and it really doesn't have much here. I really think they should have taken some more time, but I'm sure they'll get it there. And it's nice to see an app like this on Android. Um, I mean, Lollipop has made the what's the face, the uh, latency better, a lot better, but it's still not there, so you do need something to actually um, compensate for that annoying latency, so this does help with that, and it would, this app would work for me because I play a lot of metal, and I think the metal tones in here that are just free actually work very, very well. And it's nice to have something that's portable. I can just plug into my phone and do that. And when I come home, you know, I could have it on my my uh, computer. I could plug in and have the full application and play it that way. Uh, but like I said, I really think they could have done better. Uh, I think they should have taken their time with this uh, a little, a lot more. Uh, they should have came out of the gate with more stomp effects. Uh, probably, I mean, the amps aren't so bad. They have a good, decent amount of amps for, you know, just now. But, you know, it would have been nice if they actually came out with the fucking recording shit and all that stuff. Um, you know, if they just took their time and, and put together a more competent app, this app even though the stomp effects sound good and and you know stuff works and you may be able to find some effects here that you are happy with there's so much missing from the application and i really hope that they keep up with updates and uh make it into a lot better application because this is um not that in depth <laughs> so thank you for watching um 
have a great day.